Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm unboxing the Niwa 48 volt phantom power supply. We have the Basically, the description of what the unit is and how to assemble it. We have a USB power lead. These units come in two varieties one's powered by USB, the other one's powered by a mains adapter. We have our cable. To connect from our microphone to the unit and then we have the unit itself so on the front we have our on and off switch our LED indicator on the back we have the input coming from the microphone and then we have the output that goes to the uh, input on our sound card and then we have the connection for the USB cable. This is my BM800 condenser microphone. The arms already attached to the table and I have the microphone connected currently straight into the 3.5mm input socket of the onboard audio on my computer. So what I'm going to do is record the sound that comes out of it currently and then I'm going to attach the 48 volt band and power supply and do the same test again to see if there's any improvement. Now that I've done a test recording using the microphone plugged directly into the 3.5mm microphone jack on the motherboard of my computer, it's now time to see what the difference is once it's connected to the 48 volt power supply. What I'm going to do is unplug the cable from the back of the microphone and plug that into the output of the 48 volt power supply and then I'll be plugging in the cable from the input on the power supply into the microphone. So we find the output and we line up the holes, plug it in. We then get our cable that came with the power supply. The female end will go into the microphone, and the male end will go into the input part of the power supply. Now that we've got that all connected, I can now turn on the power. I've already connected the USB uh, connection to the USB socket on my computer. So we press the button and you can see the LED indicator coming up now. Chapter 1 The eyewitness said he didn't actually see it happen, but how else could it have gone down? Not long after midnight, a man in a green winter coat had gone into a small concrete bunker through its only door. Two men in black suits had followed him in. There had been a short pause. The two men in the black suits had come out again. The man in the green winter coat had not come out again. Chapter 1 The eyewitness said he didn't actually see it happen. But how else could it have gone down? Not long after midnight, a man in a green winter coat had gone into a small concrete bunker through its only door. Two men in black suits had followed him in. There had been a short pause. The two men in the black suits had come out again. The man in the green winter coat had not come out again. Chapter 1 The eyewitness said he didn't actually...
actually see it happen, but how else could it have gone down? Not long after midnight, a man in a green winter coat had gone into a small concrete bunker through its only door. The two men in black suits had followed him in. There had been a short pause. The two men in the black suits had come out again. The man in the green winter coat had not come out again. Chapter 1 The eyewitness said he didn't actually see it happen. But how else could it have gone down? Not long after midnight, a man in a green winter coat had gone into a small concrete bunker through its only door. Two men in the black suits had followed him in. There had been a short pause. The two men in the black suits had come out again. The man in the green winter coat had not come out again. Okay, now for this summary, this has been recorded at 75% of input on PowerDirector 17 with the power supply turned on. As you heard from those tests, there was obviously an increase in the volume of the sound with the power supply turned on. When it was set to 100% input on PowerDirector and the power was turned on, it was quite a bit of hissing going on, which was a bit distracting. With it set to 100% with the power off, the volume was at a reasonable level. Uh, probably you could get by without the power supply if you set the input to 100%. When it comes to setting it to 50%, without the power supply, it's virtually inaudible. And then with the power supply, it brought it up to a reasonable level. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been informative for those that are interested in a BM800 condenser microphone or the newer 48 volt Bantam power supply. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you would like to be notified of any future videos, don't forget to press the bell icon and you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Have a good day.